Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. We're on the water today and we're gonna do a product review. A lot of you guys have reached out to me because you know how much I love throwing a vibrating jig like the jackhammer or even some of the older uh, versions of the chatterbait I think are really good too. But a lot of you guys have reached out to me and said, I gotta try the micro chatterbait because I've never thrown the micro chatterbait. And so I went ahead, I ordered a couple and I got them in guys. So the micro chatterbait, this is an eighth ounce size. I am really surprised by how much smaller this is than I was expecting. I mean, this bait is, I mean, it's, it's a total, I'm gonna say from blade to end of hook, probably two inches. Um, really small, but it still has a nice sized hook in it. it I'm gonna guess that that's a two watt hook maybe a one-aught, but it's still a decent size hook. It's got a much smaller blade on it, so I'm curious to see what type of vibration it has. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm gonna give it a whirl here. So we're gonna have a product review. This is the first time I've thrown it, and I'll let you know my honest opinion on it. I'm gonna match it up here with a uh, small three and a half inch Berkeley The Deal, which is one of my favorite trailers. I feel like this small one, you know, I've already, I, I ordered two, cause you always gotta order two. And I'm gonna put the trailer on it, see what it looks like. I mean, that's a nice, small, compact size bait. I'm excited to see what that looks like. So let's get it in the water so you guys can see as well. And hopefully it's got some good thumb. All right, here's our little guy. The Chatterbait Micro. Let's see what it does. Oh yeah, I mean it's got a real, real tight vibration here. It feels, it feels and looks almost like the Stealth. Like that's, it's that real tight vibration. Like I would compare it to throwing a tight wiggling crankbait. Uh, still get lots of vibration. You know, I still feel it very much in the rod tip. It's just much tighter, much more compact, but it's the blades the half the size. So that's what I would expect. I have very little doubt we're gonna catch a few fish. We've got about an hour and a half to fish. Maybe an hour, we'll see. The deal looks good on the back. It gives it a little bulk. It's gonna help me cast it from a, uh, from a tackle perspective or rod and reel. I've got this on a, this is my light action chatterbait rod. Uh, this is a CB906 by MHX, and I've got it paired up with an Abu Garcia Revo ALF. This is a high-speed 8 to 1. It's a good all-purpose reel. We're fishing on the river here, so we've got very confined uh, kind of key spots to throw to. So let's see what we can do. Like my third cast. A little smallmouth. A little 13 incher. Okay, that's a good sign. Miss that one. What do we got? Ooh, pike. Or is that a muskie? 
That's a pike. Give us our jig back. Alright, that thing is gone. Say he ate it. That is a long, skinny pike. My first impressions are pretty good. I've been throwing it for about 15 minutes. I've caught a, a nice pike, I've caught a small, small mouth, and I missed one other bite, so it's been pretty good action. The bait really moves good. I really like the vibration on it. Uh, it's not, you know, a big bait by any means. I could definitely see how this is a, a fish catcher, especially in tough times when other baits won't get bit or the fish just don't want to bite a full-size chatterbait. Uh, I'm, I'm really impressed so far, but it's only been 15 minutes, so let's get back to it. Guys, I don't know what's going on. I don't ever catch pike out here. Something about the bait, apparently. Well, we got to head in guys. The micro chatterbait, you can see it's been pretty beaten up, missing strands, uh, but it held up well. You know, I caught several pike, I missed several pike, I caught several bass, I missed a couple bass, I missed the walleye too. So we've been out for an hour and 20 minutes. I got to head in. I got to tell you though, that's a lot of bites for this time of year up here right now. It was generating a lot of bites. I haven't caught that many pike all year that I saw today on the river. There are not a lot of them out here. So something about this bait, it's probably that blade. Uh, one thing I would like to see on this bait is a keeper. There's no keeper on here, which would be really nice. Um, you can see how torn up the deal is. Uh, so I'd like to see a keeper and I'd like to see it offered in some better colors. Uh, you know, some some solid colored blades as well. Just black blade would be fine or a green pumpkin. I think that would work really well. But I got a ton of bites. I think the, the one thing I'll also say with this bait is because it's so light, it does ride high. So it's hard to fish it deeper. So I would like to see it a heavier size as well. And I don't think they make them. I think this is the heaviest one they make uh, in this micro size. But I really think there's something here and I I could see this being a killer bait in the spring. I could see it being a killer uh, pond bait when you're trying to fish over like that, that weed that's at the bottom. It just, I think there's a pretty good, 
a couple of pretty good applications I could see this being in. I will definitely be purchasing more and keeping them in my tackle box as a time, uh, you know, when I feel like I might need to go smaller to generate more bites. So I hope it was helpful, guys. I'm impressed by it. There's a couple things I'd like to see done to it, but overall, I'm really impressed by it. And I do think there's a place in your tackle box for this bait. Uh, and the Berkeley deal was a great trailer on here just because it added that bulk that allowed me to cast it really well and skip it up under trees because it did skip well. It amazingly is very weedless. For being an open hook, I think it's such a compact design that that blade keeps the, the, the hook away from getting hung up on the logs. I've been throwing it into really tight things and it was very weedless, which surprised me. So overall guys, I'm impressed. I hope this helped you. If it did, hit that like button. Stay tuned, more tips and tricks coming out tomorrow.